We made it to Missouri from Florida safe and sound, which for us was about a thousand mile trip. And one of the things we worry about the most is tires. We don't want something like this to happen. Well, sometimes things like that are unavoidable, but if it does happen, you wanna minimize the damage. That's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna to show you a couple of products that are gonna either prevent you from having this issue, or if you do have this issue, it's gonna prevent you from having major or catastrophic damage. And we're even gonna save you a little bit of money. We're gonna show you a couple of different products today and we are gonna save you a little bit of money. $25 for each product that you purchase and all you gotta do is use the promo code WAGS at checkout. We'll leave a link down in the description to go check out these products. The first thing we're gonna talk about though is tire pressure. Now, we've tried a ton of different air compressors that are gonna work for these high PSI RV tires. Now, we have found that most compressors do pretty good getting up to about 60 to 75 PSI, but if you get beyond that, compressors really, really struggle. And so doing our research online, checking out compressors, the only option that we have ever found is Viair. And so everybody buys a Viair because really it's the only option to get your tires up to the right PSI without struggling or overheating. But there's a new kid in town. And that new kid in town is by a reputable and reliable company, TireMinder. Yep, that's right. It just came out, the brand new RV compressor from TireMinder, and we're gonna try it out today to make sure that it doesn't struggle on those high PSI settings and make sure it doesn't overheat. Because the last thing you wanna do is be sitting on the side of the road and your air compressor's overheated and you're sitting there waiting for it to cool off so that you can air up one of your tires that has gone down. Well, first of all, you wanna make sure your vehicle is turned off before you plug these in. If you plug these in when your vehicle is on, you might get a shocking result. Make sure your vehicle's off. Hook the negative to the negative and the positive to the positive on your battery. And then you can go fire up the truck. One thing I do want to point out is, look at this long compressor hose that comes with the compressor. So you don't have to unhook. If you've got a low tire and you're on the side of the road and your truck is still hooked to your RV, this thing's gonna reach without you having to unhook your truck and bring it over towards your tires. So that's gonna save you time and it's gonna be a safety feature too. You don't wanna be moving your truck, unhooking your RV on the side of the road and get hit by an oncoming car or something. I also love this because it has a digital display on the tire pressure gauge. And so it tells you exactly how much PSI you're pumping into this thing. And it's accurate down to 0.1 PSI. So you'll know that whatever you're pumping in here, whatever this gauge says, it's pretty accurate. Now. What I have done is I have lowered the pressure of this one tire down to 95 PSI, and that's really where other compressors on the market will start to struggle. So I lowered this to 95 PSI, and we're gonna pump this up to 110 PSI, which is the max cold on most RV fifth wheels. So we're gonna uh, put it on a timer and see how long it takes to get from 95 to 110, and make sure that this thing doesn't overheat when it's trying to go up to that PSI, because that, that's where these things really start to struggle. Well, there you have it. Two minutes and 40 seconds. Two minutes and 40 seconds to get from 95 PSI all the way up to 110 PSI. Now, it's probably gonna take you longer to get your equipment out and get ready than it is to actually air up your tire because chances are, if you are stuck on the side of the road with a tire problem, it's probably only one tire that's having an issue. You're not gonna have to stop on the side of the road and air up all four tires. If you need to mess around with all four tires, it's probably gonna happen in a campground. You can take your time, but either way, this thing didn't overheat. So I think it's a good solution. Now that we've made sure our tire pressure is good, we want to maintain it. And we want to know if there's anything crazy going on while we're towing. The only way to know that is a tire pressure monitoring system. We've been using TireMinder for a tire pressure monitoring system the whole time that we've been full time and we were using this. Now this is the TireMinder A1A. This is the older model, but hey, it still works really, really well. We finally upgraded after three years, we've upgraded to the TireMinder i10. Now this is a bigger display and it's a little more fancy and it has an app and all kinds of cool stuff. So it's way more user friendly. I'm not gonna do a whole thing on how to install this thing. 
that's already been done we'll leave a link in the description if you want to see the total install and how to do it and actually the video is made by tire minder so they could probably show you a little better than i can anyway so if you want to see the complete install go down in the description click on the link and watch the video but i'm telling you if i can do it you can do it it's super easy but let me show you the basic gist of how everything works so here's the gist of it you have transmitters on each one of your tires it looks something like this and that transmitter reads your tire pressure and sends a signal up to your monitor but in some cases it won't reach so you need a signal booster let me show you that now a signal booster is hardwired into your battery system your 12 volt system and basically what it does it sends a signal from your transmitter to the signal booster up to your truck just in case your truck is so far away from your transmitter on your tire that it don't pick up properly this will boost the signal send it up to your monitor in your truck now this is pretty easy to install what i did was i took some double-sided tape and i just taped down my signal booster and you can see the wire runs back here i ran it behind my generator box and then down here into my battery system where it connects with these little alligator claws for positive and negative the way that you can tell that it's working you'll get a little green light it'll flash every once in a while when it's sending a signal from your transmitter up to your monitor so the signal goes from the transmitter to the booster and then into here now they do give you a suction cup mount for your windshield but we got so much going on here we got our backup camera we got our rv gps we have our dash cam and so we didn't want to take up a bunch of space so we just used a regular cell phone holder to hold our tire pressure monitoring system so that's where it is if you click this middle button right here that'll give you your temps and the middle button again take you back to your pressures you can set an alarm to let you know if your pressures drop below a certain amount or increase above a certain amount and the same with your temperatures you can set parameters so if it goes outside of those parameters it'll let you know that your tire's low or your tire's high or your tire's having a, a, a high temperature issue high temperatures telling you something's going wrong with your tire so all those alerts and alarms are, are settable and programmable again i'm not going to go into that because i don't want to bore you with all that uh, look at the video and the link and check all that out but the one that you don't have to set the one that will automatically tell you is if you have a catastrophic failure or a total loss of pressure and i'm going to show you what it looks like to simulate the loss of pressure i'm going to just take this off and it should alert down there and let me know that we have zero pressure it's simulating like you had a complete failure a total blowout so let's see what happens And that one went straight to zero and started alerting right there you will get that flashing zero and you'll get the light up at the top left and you will get the audible alarm to let you know you had a catastrophic failure you need to pull off right now and get her figured out well there you have it for the new tire minder rv air compressor and the tire minder i10 tire pressure monitoring system um i'm not telling you have to get these but i can save you 25 bucks on each one if you use the code WAGS by using the link down in the description but you need something and you need a compressor that's going to get you up to your minimum cold PSI and you need a tire pressure monitoring system in case something happens because if something happens this thing blows out and you don't know it man it could destroy your RV you could be out of your RV for several months waiting on repairs and the last thing you want to do is be stranded out on the road Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're gonna honor a fallen service member. If you wanna get involved with helping us help veterans out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. We appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time.